Ahem. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, a boy made a special wish. A Christmas wish. He wished for a five levels of Jingle Bell Rock instructional video on youtube.com slash guitario official or guitario.com depending on what platform you're watching this on. And he was a good boy. So his wish did come true. This is a true story. <laughs> So firstly, I'll show you some open chords that will help you get through the song. We're just going to focus on the verse in this video, or the A section, as the jazz cats would say. So you only need three chords to get through this part of the song. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're strumming it six times, holding each chord for two beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So after that, we move to E minor and A major, and we uh, go back and forth a couple times. Again, we're still holding each chord for two beats. third time there. But you'll notice there was a moment where I held that A chord for a little bit longer. So we have E minor, A major, E minor, A major, E minor, A major, and then E minor, A major. And the only other thing to take note of is when the verse repeats, it's exactly the same except for the very last part. Let me play it for you. end up only playing that A major chord for two beats as opposed to the previous time where we played it for longer. And then we play E minor, A major, D. So we just move through the chords a little bit more quickly there. All right, so now that you can do the jingle hop, let's put the tree up. So the next thing we can do to take this to the next level is add some rhythmic movement. Basically what I'm trying to say is let's add a strumming pattern. And it's that same strumming pattern the whole time. Uh, it's kind of like a galloping feel, and it's aligned with the melody, like the vocal melody of the song. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. It's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And something to take note of once you're comfortable with that is accenting the first strum probably more than the rest, because doesn't have quite as much groove, let's say, as this one feels a little more Christmassy and good. Listen, if you're a level one or two, that's amazing. But let's say you want to get to a higher level. Let's say you want to get to level five. Let's say you want to be Santa. Well, you can go to guitario.com slash trial. You'll get seven days free to try out all the resources we got on there. And let's get back to the video, on to level three. All right, the next thing we can do is add a little more color into those chords. This is what it could sound like. Let's take this piece by piece. Before we were just playing that D major chord, but now we're gonna do some cool stuff, starting with D major, and then moving to D major seven. And the way I'm playing that is just barring with my index finger across the second frets of the G, B, and high E strings. 
I move to D6, which I play by putting my middle finger on the second fret of the G string, leaving the B string open, and putting my ring finger on the second fret of the high E string. So now we have back to D major seven, back to D, and then we're gonna throw in this crazy chord diminished chord. This is going to be very jazzy and bring that old school Christmas feel. Makes me feel very nostalgic. Put your index finger on the first fret of the D string and then your ring finger on the second fret of the G string, your middle finger on the first fret of the B string, and then your pinky on the second fret of the high E string. So now this is what we have and then I'll play the following part so you can start to hear what it sounds like. Where we previously just went to an E minor chord, we're going to go to an E minor 7 chord. And so the only thing that changes is you're going to put your pinky or your ring finger, whatever is more comfortable. I use my pinky on the third fret of the B string. And then instead of simply moving to A major, we're gonna play an A dominant seven chord. So even though that sounds more complicated, it's actually easier to play because it's just an A major chord, but whatever you have on the G string, take it off. And I find it easiest to play the chords with this fingering here where I actually don't move my middle finger at all. It's always helpful to find pivot points when you're changing chords. It just makes everything a little bit easier. You go back and forth, just like we did in the previous levels. And then the whole thing repeats. So now that you've glided on a one horse sleigh, you're gonna become a Jingle Bell rocker. So this level, I'm gonna teach you the original part. I do believe it was played by Hank Garland. I know there's a bit of contention around it, but I think it was him. Not surprised this part's iconic, cause he's iconic. This is how it goes. Everyone loves that intro. How do we play it? Well, first we tune our guitars. So you're gonna start by putting your middle finger on the 15th fret of the B string, index finger on the 14th fret of the high E string. Play it three times, down, up, down. And then we're gonna play this lovely shape where you end up sliding into the 14th frets of the B string and E string. Again, playing it three times, picking down, up, down. And I'm just sliding from a fret below. This next part, I'm sliding with my middle finger from the 14th fret to the 15th fret and my index finger from the 13th fret to the 14th fret on the high E string. So now we have. And then we're gonna add this other little shape where you simply put your pinky on the 17th fret of the high E string and your middle finger stays where it is and that's what it sounds like. And you'll notice I'm picking down, up when I get to this little movement here. Here's the last phrase. This part's very fun. You gotta jump down to the 10th fret of the B and high E strings. And then you're gonna move up to the 12th frets of both of those strings. And then you're gonna play it a second time, but bend up a little bit on those strings. And then bring it back to its resting place. And then back to that 10th fret of the B and high E strings. And you'll notice I'm using my middle finger and ring finger for 
all of that other than the very last uh, tenth fret. And then the last part, you end up playing the twelfth fret of the G string and the tenth fret of the B string. And then you leave that index finger where it is on that tenth fret, and then you put your middle finger on the eleventh fret of the G string. Put that all together, here's what it sounds like. Then we have this awesome little walk down, lots of fun. Open A string, and then on the low E string we play three, two, open. And then we move into the verse. And instead of playing all those chords I taught you before, the original part is a lot more sparse. This is what it sounds like. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells, and prancing, and jingle bell square. So I think you get the idea, even if the lyrics weren't quite there. For that first shot, is barring with the index finger on the 10th fret of the B string and high E string, putting my middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string. That's the first shot, and then the next one, you're taking the shape and you're moving it all the way up so that your index finger is on the 17th frets of the B and high E strings, and then your middle finger is on the 18th fret of the G string, and this time, you play it twice before sliding down, and I'm picking down up and then sliding, and then the very last time you hear those shots, it sounds like this. So it's three times, down, up, down, and then you slide down. So again, the rhythm of them, uh, and this is consistent throughout the song. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. I think my singing is really the best part of this video. There's this fill I just played. It actually comes in later in the song. Basically, you can use it anytime you're moving into the verse. So, and serve the same purpose and that they lead you into the verse chord progression. Well, I'm playing a double stop on the 12th fret of the G and B strings. Playing it twice. And then I'm gonna play the 11th fret of the G string and the 10th fret of the B string. Again, playing it twice. And then sliding this down two more frets, exact same shape as before. Playing the 9th fret of the G string and the 8th fret of the B string. And then we're back into the verse. So if you're not satiated being a Jingle Bell rocker, I need to teach you how to be Santa. <laughs> So yes, level four was the original song. Combining level three and level four gives you level five. This is what it could sound like. We'll start with the intro. But then play the chords. And the shots. So what's happening there? Well, I start with D, D major seven, D six, and then I move up to that shot that I just taught you, uh, like what is played in the original. And then I continue with the progression. Alright Christmas fans, there were the five levels of Jingle Bell Rock. I hope that you are Santa now, or learned a little something from this video. Let me know if there are any other songs you want me to break down this way. Have a great day, and I'll play you out with level five, because I am Santa.